Hey guys, I'm back. I am sorry we had a technical difficulty, which I was told how to resolve, but I didn't resolve it well. Made a mistake. So here I am, Carla with the Giggle Fest at Giggle Fest University. And we are going to speak English with a smile and some laughter. And I'm so excited to be here. Now, my co-hosts are not here today. I'm not sure. I know why one isn't here, but I don't know why the other. Well, actually, I do know, so I can't say I don't know, but I thought he was going to come anyway. So right now, if anyone who speaks good English wants to come and you have a good connection with the Internet, let me know, and I will send you the link. But I need people with really good English skills right now. Hi, Razan. Thank you for coming. We're happy to have you here. I am so glad people are coming in. We have 16 people, and I haven't been on, on air for very long yet. How is everyone doing? <laughs> this is the speak. English with a Smile program, and Urchad, I will try, and we'll see how it works. Um, I'm sending you the link now, and what you need to do, please, you need to go to your Facebook page to get the link. Click on the link and come on in. And we'll take it from there. But it's very easy. If you don't come quickly, I will send it to someone else. We don't have time to play today. <laughs> we'll see. I just sent the link to one other per person. Um, Mohan, how's your English? I need to know that. Okay, Archad, you're here. How's your internet connection? Hi, Archad. How are you? I am fine. There's a problem with your internet. Go out and come back because you, there's a lot of echo. If the echo's there, I'm going to have to send you out. But try it again now and let's see what happens. Okay. Go out, close out, and come back. Refresh your browser. We'll see, Mohit. I'll let you know. <laughs> oh! These are such nice comments. Thank you so very much. Okay, Urchad's coming back. We're going to try again. Uh, Hi, Urchad, there's some... See if you can correct your... How are you? It's good, but your... Internet connection is a little funny. Let's try Why? it. Can you hear me, Archad? Yes, of course. I'm hearing you. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you yes, talk, I am understanding. Your internet connection is a little shaky. It's not very clear, and it's hard to understand you. 
We can try one more time. But and I am hearing very clear. <laughs> the internet connection, I for you, I can't. I can't. Okay, guys, let's try this again. Um, you may be able, good evening, everyone. Um, is your internet, Mohit will try, but if the internet connection isn't good on this end and I can't hear you, I'm going to have to let you out. But let's try. And I'll go, I'm going to send you the link now on Facebook. So go to Facebook to find, to get your link. Okay, Mohit, I just sent you the link. Oh, Chad, no. No, I can't understand you. You may not come in. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm waiting for you, Mohit. <laughs> I sent you the link. Thank you, Kazan. Am I pronouncing your name right? Thank you so very much. Because I'm sorry, I only send the link out when I'm inviting someone in. I don't just send it out because I can only have as much as, only have up to two guests at a time. So I just don't send it. Urchad, no. No. Urchad, you cannot be on the broadcast. We can't Hello. understand you. Well, I'll try. Hello, Carla. Hi. Please resend me the link. You have the link. I don't hear you. Please Goodbye. resend me the link. No, no I'm not. Goodbye. Urchad, you need to hear. I cannot have you on here because your internet connection is poor. There's too much noise in the background. Now, uh, Mohammed, I do not live in the... I don't live in the UK. I live in the US. Mohit, you're not coming in. I don't know why, but I'm going to send you out. Your picture isn't showing. Okay, I am. You may want to...
Mohead, your show, your picture isn't showing. I'm sorry. You need to go out. I cannot bring in people where the internet is poor. And that's what's happening today. So if I bring you in once or twice and I cannot see you, you are out. I am not going to bring you in again. Urchad, no. I hate to be rude, but I have to be clear. You cannot be heard. Goodbye. I'm sorry. You got to go. Kazem, I'll try. Let me go to Facebook and I'll try attempt to send you the link. There seems to be all kinds of problems with this today. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. I am doing my best to do what I can do. Kazam Aslam. Oh, you have to get it. Sure. Guys, I'm sorry we're having Archa no and Mohit no. I cannot see you. You do not work. Please leave the broadcast. Mohit, leave the broadcast. You are not coming up. I'm sorry it has to be this way, but it does. When I say no, I mean no. Please don't make it hard on me. Kazem, I can't find you to send the link. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'm not finding you on Facebook at all. I'll try again. Q-A-S-I-M. That's not I'm sorry, Kazem. You're not coming up as the person you are here. I need I can't bring you in. I'm very sorry. Mara, will you please come in? I'll send you the link. Call from Barbara. Call from Barbara. 
I am so glad you're coming. Here's the link. And then we can work together to get this show rolling. I'm having trouble getting it together today. Or getting it rolling, so to speak. Mara, I just sent you the link. I'm glad you th think it's funny. And we are having some fun. Uh, <laughs> it's just a little difficult when I don't have someone here to help me get everything together. Kamar, I can see if you have, um, if I can find you on Facebook. Someone wanted to come in and I couldn't see them. So I couldn't bring them in. You know, and if I can't understand them, that's another issue that comes up. So hold on for a moment. And Mara, I hope you're coming. Okay, let me get your name. Mara, are you coming? Kamar Mustafa. I can't find you. Thank you, Mara. I am very appreciative of you right now. I am having, well, it isn't actually a dis problem, but I'm having, having trouble finding these people who want to come in. Because oh, wow. the names are not matching when I put it put it in for um the name. So um huh. it's been quite a <laughs> issue. It's been an experience. I'm hoping it's not me, but I have a feeling it is. Which makes it even more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> when you were typing Kasim, were you putting a U? I know a lot of people will put a Q U because we in our minds think every Q has a U after it, but I think it's Q A Kasim. That's what I did, but it wasn't I wasn't sure it was the right Kamar. Oh Kamar, that's a different one. You were talking about Kasim before. Uh, even Kasim, I wasn't sure it was the right Kasim. Kamar, I think we help? have a, a a U. So Hold on, let me find him again. Okay. And I'll put him, instead of having your name, your comment, I'll put his comment. And if you could spell his name, sure, that it's would be great. Q Hold on. Oh, well, well, we're not there yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite a show. Q what? Q A S I M. Yeah. S I M, yeah. Space, Aslam, A S A L A M. Mm -hmm. Now there's two. What He's, does he look? He has kind of a yellow background at the top of his picture, yellow green. Okay. With a I white got shirt. It. Okay. <laughs> I got him now. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's hard to do it when it's only one person because Quasum or Kasum or Kasum, Kasum. I sent you the link, so come on in. <laughs> You'll find it in Facebook. <laughs> 
<laughs> and our child, I am sorry we could not understand a word you were saying. I had to tell you to leave. And same with you, Mohit. It just wasn't working. You did not have a any video. And because you didn't have video, I had to kick you off. I'm sorry. I don't like doing it, but it had to be done. It's all for the show. <laughs> hey, Shahab, how are you today? Thank you for coming. We're waiting for Kesem to come. And while we're waiting for Kesem, Kesem, Kesem. Oh, God. but he's. Oh, that's right. The vows are all confused. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend named Qasim that lives in Islamabad. So I know how to say Qasim pretty good. <laughs> okay. But you can understand for me, I'm looking at it from an English point of view. I had to explain that to Rayhan and he didn't quite get it ever. Oh, yeah. Well, you know? like... I still, I can't even pronounce my own last name correctly. <laughs> You're, it looks very easy. It's Ahmad, but it's more than Ahmad. It's something like Ahmad, <laughs> but I can't do it right. I can't get Ahmed? it right. It's Ahmad, you know, like, I, I don't know. I, I don't pronounce it correctly. Ahmad or something like that, but I can't say it right. <laughs> <laughs> And it's been your name for how long? Four years. <laughs> oh, Fata is not coming. He just sent me a message. And we're waiting for Kasim or Kesim, whatever, Kasim. to come. Kasim, let us know if you're coming. Yeah, we need to know because if you're not coming, we'll let someone else come. Now they want Amir Khan wants me to say his name. Amir Khan. Amir Khan. Did I say it right? Khan, yeah. So it's no your name isn't a big deal. Well, like the K is <laughs> almost a little bit silent. Khan, 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 you know, I don't know. I think. <laughs> you know, it gets so confusing, Mara. And then all of the, the Khan people, they're, they're considered Patan or uh, Patan. I don't know how to pronounce that. But like um, when I went to Pakistan, um, my husband would tell people she's from Gilgit. <laughs> Because there's like they're more white people there and they don't speak like uh Urdu. <laughs> but they will speak English. <laughs> so <laughs> if you ever go to Pakistan, you have to go like there's a town called Murray that's like um about an hour out maybe an hour and a half outside of uh Islamabad. Um, but then you go through like the mountains and stuff and I got to play with monkeys and it was so much fun. Ooh, when I went, no problem. Oh, this is, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, <laughs> and he wants me to continue doing this. I hope people are enjoying this show. <laughs> If you get a chance, go through my, my pictures from when I went to Pakistan. Because I have pictures of, like, the monkeys and um, the horses and the goats walking on the road. And, um, well, when I went to India, I have I have some great pictures from there. But we went to the, the city where the monkey temple is. Okay. I and I don't know if you know about that. Mm -mm. And I was sitting there. I didn't go up because I had a problem with my foot. My foot was really swollen, but some friends went up to the monkey temple. Uh -huh. And the monkey, not only, I had kids surrounding me because, of course, I looked different and I had these bags and they were 
watching me because they wanted to figure out who I was and what I was. And they always want pictures taken with you. Of course. But the monkeys were there. Aww. And the monkeys were all around. And they said, you know, they called me lady. Be careful of the monkeys. They will steal your bag. They uh, will. They totally will. They jumped into our cab and they jumped in. They got my purse and they stole my medicine out of my purse. You're kidding. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I believe it. Someone told me about a monkey stealing their wallet. You know. <laughs> They're naughty. Naughty little monkeys. They really are. Is Kesem coming or not? If he isn't, if someone else wants to come in and speak to Try that other Q guy. He really wanted to come in. See if he's still in there. The guy with the, the I can't see the names, but um, he like asked like five times. Oh. Qualum or, I don't know. Qualmark Mustafa? Yeah, I think that's it. Ask him if he still wants to come in. Are you still here, Karmar? Would you like to come in? Let me know. Because I will send you the link again. We <laughs> haven't sent one to him. Oh, I will send you a link because I haven't sent you a link. Do you want to come in? Okay, let me go. Um, will you? I'll move. spell it for you. Okay, because you can't do it on the com on the phone and have it on the computer. It has to be. Woof, Bodhi, you need to be quiet. I know you're laughing. You think it's funny too. <laughs> so do I believe me? I do. <laughs> okay, we are going to try. I. Oh, I need to answer it, but I'll answer it later. Okay, so. No, we want the Kamar. Yeah. Go okay. to wherever you need to go, and I'll spell it for you. Just don't okay. change the name that's got a thing up. Okay. No, no, not... <sighs> <laughs> Spell the name for me, please. Q A. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Q A M A R. Okay. And what is the last name? Or M U. M is in Mary. U is in Umbrella. S is in Sam. T is in Tom. A is in Apple. F is in Frank. A is in Apple. Okay, is it Syed? What does he look like in this picture? Um, he's got a black shirt. His face is really bright and beautiful. He's got a beard and mustache. He didn't come out. Come up, though. Q A M A R M U S T. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. It has a Q in there. Yeah, the first letter is a, a Q. Q U? No, Q A. This is so funny. Yeah, that, that's what I was telling you. Remember, the Q names don't have a U after it. It's not right. spelling. It's, it's Q A. Okay, Q A. M A R. Okay. Mustafa. M U S T A F A. Okay, now maybe he'll answer it for you. There's a Mustafa Kamar. It is there is a Syed Kamar Mustafa. He has a black, a, a black um, button down. He shirt didn't on. come up. Hmm. Ask him. Tell him to send me a either friend me on Facebook now or send me a message, and then I can send it to him. Kamar, can you please send Carol Reichman Carla. a message? Carla, and it's Richmond. Or Car you Carla. You better get it correct. Richmond. 
I, but I'm going off of how it looks, <laughs> and I can't see it. Carla uh, Richmond. But it's like, yeah. it's spelled with an I-E in it, right? Yeah. Bonnie, you are yell talking too much. Get over here. Let me see if I can try to find them on my computer. Let me open mine. Yeah, but you won't be able to. I won't be able to friend him, but I might be able to see what you're seeing. <laughs> yeah. And two, you won't be able to bring him into the broadcast. That's the no, that's one. fine. I'm just going to see if I can find him and help navigate you to him. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to know what Ray Rayhan had in mind when he started now. I really want to know. <laughs> You know, Cosm, it could be that Kesem, it could be that you don't have a good um, internet connection, and that's what happens in Pakistan. Where are you in Pakistan, Kesem? Kesem? I know you've tried. It's happened before like this. Where are you in Pakistan? Type it in. Yeah, I can't find um, Kamar either. So it's not just you. Well, let's ask him, Kamar, could you, we can't find you. That's the problem. Do you have another, another name that you go under? Because the picture that's showing up now it's not showing up at all when we go to find you. Maybe in his settings doesn't allow for it. Yeah, maybe he. He may have privated his. Right. Kamar, you may need. Let me suggest that you. Go to your Facebook settings and make them public, and then we would be able to do something with you. We think it's because you have private settings, and then you can make it private. You can private it again after you come off the broadcast. Hi, Sayla. How are you? I probably am pronouncing your name wrong. <laughs> you better watch out, Mara. If you keep coming on, Rayhan may have you be a co-host. <laughs> An official co-host, not just a co-host that comes in and helps. Um, maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to click. Would you consider? On, no, you consider let, me, let me, um, send this to you. I'm going to send you his Facebook thing. I found him. Okay, send it over Facebook. And uh, then I'll. This is his profile. I found you, Kamar. <laughs> okay. So, let me go and start a new message. Oh, okay. Okay, Kumar, we're working on it now. But so I'm live not seeing him. Hold well, on. look in your... PM box. I sent you a PM with his. Yeah, I saw it. So click on that, and then you can go. That goes to his page, and then you can click on message. Oh, that's right. Yay! Yes. I yeah. forgot all about that. you <laughs> do <laughs> I forgot I could do that. Thank you. So you, you need to come on the show. 
I need you. <laughs> did you see Ray had changed his picture? Oh, did he? Did he? I didn't even see. Look at the look at our thing for the um for the link. Oh, the green sweatshirt one. That's way better. I it's like so that one person. <laughs> It doesn't look scary anymore. Right, right. He was so scary looking before. <laughs> and I tried to tell him, but, you know, he's a man. I think, I think we got it just enough yesterday that he decided to change the picture. <laughs> we did. I'm glad we did it. <laughs> Hey, what else can we discuss that'll get us into trouble but make him change? Well, I think What's he's a pretty good about? guy. We don't want to change too much. He's a great dad. I saw him um, in the video where he was with his daughter eating eggs, and she was so Oh, wasn't that. that adorable? Michelle, she is adorable. She is so cute. I was like, I want to take her. I want to keep her. I wanted to steal her from that picture. Uh, I wanted to leave it and steal her. Now, like, if you go to Pakistan, that's, like, a totally different thing. Like, you wouldn't dare, like, if you were in a store, you would never touch someone else's kid. In Pakistan, you can touch any kid you want. Nobody cares. <laughs> you can just pick them up high, and nobody even, like, looks at you weird. <laughs> people would like like look like they're gonna kill you if you touch their kid. <laughs> well, that's interesting because someone was telling me in Pakistan, "Are you coming, Kmore? He hasn't come in yet. He might have to download the app." Oh yeah, that may be part of it. Um, that is hysterical. Yeah. So like like and the kids would come up to you and um um they beg for everything. And um we were staying in Murray at this hotel that's right at the like right before you go to food like the food area. Um and we went it was just before Ramadan last year. And there's this kid that lived in our balcony, kind of went around and you could see his house and he kept throwing his ball onto our thing. And then when I throw it back, he goes, chocolate, please chocolate. <laughs> he wanted chocolate. So then I kept throwing his ball. <laughs> and then he, every day he'd, I'd have a ball on my, my uh, balcony and he, he'd say, throw a ball and chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> did you have, did you say throw chocolate too oh yeah i threw chocolates lots and lots of chocolates <laughs> <laughs> he probably saw me oh there's a gory she'll give me candy <laughs> <laughs> well they do that in, in india too and in <laughs> india you can touch the kids you can you know it becomes very normal mm -hmm. yeah. uh Our enemies are not the Jews or the Christians. Our enemies, is our, I agree, is our own ignorance. And that's true. I agree with you, Syed, on that. It's ignorance and fear that keep people away. And ignorance and fear, you can light that up. You can make that a reality. You know, you can lighten it up and make it, you know, make it go away. Hatred isn't what has, was given to us when we were born. Hatred is something we learn from fear. Love is what we are. And if we could only learn to love each other and care about each other, then we can share. It's very important. I'm glad you wrote that, actually. Okay, so Kamar is coming. Oh, okay. And I like that point he brought up about ignorance, don't you? Oh, for sure. You know, like, 
the more education there is everywhere, like you'll see in, in areas that have more um, highly educated people, a greater tolerance for things. Um, like I live in a pretty upper middle class neighborhood and I've never had anyone be disrespectful of my religion. You know, if anything, they're a little bit hyper um, conscious about trying to be politically correct and stuff. So they're like, pull me aside. Is it okay if I ask you a question? Because um, up until like two weeks ago, I always wore hijab. So, um, and for anyone that's watching, I am Muslim. So Alhamdulillah, <laughs> I'm a revert. Um, and so like, they'll ask me, you know, um, why, you know, um, why do you wear that thing on your head? You know, and I'm like, well, everyone has their own reason. Um, and then I would tell them my reason, which is more, you know, just to help to alleviate misconceptions and um, to also, you know, make myself be a little bit more accountable, <laughs> you know, because when you have a hijab on, you are a representation of Islam, you know, so I, that was one of the reasons. Um, and then, but the, like, so this area is pretty well educated. So I've noticed that, like, if you go into less educated areas, like, and I don't want to generalize, but like, if you go into like, kind of the sticks, you know, where there's not a lot of education, um, a lot of trailer homes where there's low income, low education levels, you'll see a lot more racist people, um, just statistically, you know, yeah. and I, I don't want to generalize the, those populations, but it, it occurs. Well, you know, what's really interesting as you were talking about it, um, and I don't believe I lost it so quickly because of everything going on. Um, when you're talking about being open to other people, many times you're not, we are not open because we expect certain types of behaviors. Mm -hmm. And I, I come from a Jewish background. And right. I remember remember growing up the neighborhood i grew up from in was not a jewish neighborhood and the cool thing that happened was that it made me very multicultural right and by becoming multicultural i also became more let me use the right word more in touch with human values and what we don't do in the schools is teach human values. And that is what's really needed. Teaching oh, I agree. Respect life, respect people as they are. In fact, we can get into this later in a fun way. <laughs> we can use this as the topic. But it's really important. Where is Kamar? Uh, he said that he's in the process of downloading the app. Oh, okay. Then we'll stay on a little longer. But it's teaching people to accept people for who they are and realize that the main thing that really is important to me is that we, we all, I don't care if you're in India, you're in the U.S., you're in Pakistan, wherever you are, the one thing we all in com have in common, and it's the most essential thing, is our breath. Is our what? Our breath. The air we breathe. Okay. And no matter where we go, if we're not breathing that air, we're not on, the, on this earth. Right. And we need that air, and it's that air that brings us to a point of community, really. Oh, sure. We're all, we are all connected, whether you're a, you know, a Muslim or a Jew or a Christian. We may look at religion in a different way. But it's not the religion that's important. It's the connection that we have as people. Right. And to 
dislike anyone for any reason, you're really disliking yourself because that's in my opinion, religion is not for others. It's for ourselves. It's for us to direct ourselves on the right path, you know? So I don't like anyone to tell me, you know, what religion I should be because you know what? Your religion is perfect for you as is mine is perfect for me. And if it makes me to be the better, the best person that I can be and whether my motivation is, you know, to please Allah or whether my motivation is just to be a better person, that's what it's about is using your own religion to make yourself be the best person that you can be. And, and I, when you were talking, I also thought about like, the one thing that I think is lacking is allowing ourselves to open our mind to how another person might be thinking, you know, like an example, if I went to like a Pakistani restaurant here in America, um, the owner would be Pakistani and the one that I know is a very devout Muslim. And I actually saw this happen and there was another, a, a white family and they were so impressed by this restaurant and so the husband, the owner walks up to the table and he's like, oh, this food is so good. We love it. And he went out and he sh- put his hand out to shake the owner's hand. The owner shook it. Then the wife went to shake the hand and the owner of the restaurant pulled his hand away. And the woman looked so upset. And as did the man, the man looked totally offended, you know, because perceptually they're thinking, oh my goodness, this man is sexist. He won't even touch my wife's hand because he's too good to touch a woman. That was how they interpreted it. But in reality, he had so much respect for this man and realized that those the, the hand is devoted for her husband and shouldn't be touched by the owner, just as the owner's hand is devoted for his wife and his daughter and his mother. You know, they didn't have the... Uh, the perspective Hello. of the other person to understand. And that's an important point. Um, what you just brought up that you need to realize that different cultures have different ways of looking at things and acting. And come on, you got here. Thank Welcome. you. For coming. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't trying to ignore you, but we were talking a really important point, and I didn't want to en- to interrupt. What well, I really, uh, well, I really appreciate you all the hard working. Like, uh, uh, like you got wasted that time on finding me like that. <laughs> no problem. My pleasure. It was fun. I mean, I don't mind the problems that come up. It's just learning how to... I'm learning that still, and I'm learning how to host this program. Well, uh, your show is is going on uh, very perfect. Like, uh, uh, all the, like, members, like, uh, just came uh, in your, like, uh, in your live show and uh, getting a lot of knowledge and Everything is going perfect, and uh, you are uh, going uh, boosted day, day by day. Thank you for saying that. Keep Your on English is amazing. Take, right now, I could take all the compliments I can get. <laughs> I must Keep say, on your, your English is incredible. You are doing a very good job with your English. How do you? Yes, do you uh, yes. Go again. Where do you speak English that you've perfected uh, being able to speak it uh, fluently? Yes, uh, yes, uh, Amara. The thing is that I appreciate you for that. Like uh, 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 you chose the uh, good words, uh, words for me. The thing is that uh, like uh, we are working in a call center and targeting American citizens for the sales generating. Ah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's why you know about before. that. <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe like uh, in which state uh, do you live? Wisconsin. Well, uh, we targeted uh, Wisconsin many times. Ah, maybe you've talked to me. You never yes, know. Yes, uh, well, uh, we are providing uh, like uh, embroidery services, like uh, designs making, like you, you know about that digitizing and vector art. I've heard about it. Yes, uh, yes, because... Uh, the thing is that uh, lots of uh, Americans uh, like uh, 
need uh, outsource services uh, for getting easy for him like uh, so we are providing these services from pakistan and uh, on a very good rate so uh, we are serving them better wonderful that's fantastic it yes, is uh, that, uh, yeah yes uh, and uh, i have been working in this field for 3 years so that is experience like uh, in 3 years like uh, i'm in front of you and uh, this is my english so um, go, go ahead on. no go on <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever have like issues with like um speaking English to people like do they ever use idioms that you might uh struggle with? Uh the the other thing is that like uh, according to my knowledge like uh, uh English speakers like uh, don't use uh, really a vocabulary like don't concentrate on a vocabulary just uh, speaking and the way of uh, learning is that uh, you just need to speak like don't think about that what are you speaking and what are whatever you are pouring you just uh, need to make sure that uh, like uh, uh, you have to speak because uh, like uh, as i as i'm working in the call center so like uh, i listen or uh, i listen all the days uh, american citizens so whatever i listen i just pour like after the call that to my agents like uh, to my colleagues uh, all the things like that okay Yes, uh, so uh, I think uh, that is the way. Like, uh, there is uh, not important any vocabulary, idioms. Like, uh, you just need to say, and you just need to pour out your like uh, English, your language, whatever you will have, whatever ability you will have, whatever uh, skill you have. You just need to pour it, and everything will be good. What? Come on, Mara. <laughs> oh, I was letting you talk. Remember, I interrupted you, so now it's your turn. <laughs> well, yes, yes. Well, this you interrupted the call the two times. <laughs> I know I'm so rude. <laughs> And I'm no, so no. rude. Oh. I'm looking. I'm looking what? Well, you both are looking beautiful. Oh, I like this you. man. <laughs> so, what, what? Where in Pakistan do you live? Well, I live in Karachi, like okay. Karachi, Pakistan. Like uh, Karachi is generating seventy percent of revenue for the whole country of Pakistan. I heard it's really big, and there's a lot of corruption there. Yes. <laughs> yes uh, so. that's why everything is uh, going on in the karachi the call centers and there is a lots of like jobs and opportunities like waiting for in the karachis like uh, for other citizens of pakistan like uh, uh, they can come in karachi and uh, earn a handsome like uh, salaries and uh, work as a job because they are the, it is generating 70% of revenue to all of pakistan what is the average income in karachi well uh, the thing is that like uh, i have not like uh, exact idea but uh, like uh, i just have to like uh, i just have a knowledge that 70% is generating like uh, the uh, pakistan have a 100% like uh, in mm-hmm. that 100% 70% is uh, like uh, giving generated uh, from in karachi that. but what is yes. the, like the median the median um salary in karachi Well, like, uh, there is a there is a average. What percentage of poverty for, is there? Yes. Uh, hello. Um, should I try the question? Hello. I think he's getting confused with the question. Oh sure, go for no, it. No, 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 no. I just got a like I just got a WhatsApp call during that live. That's why I just oh. interrupted. Okay. I have a question. Oh, sorry for about. I have a question, but it doesn't have anything to do with economics. I'm finding this very interesting. How did you find Rayhan? Oh, I can't pronounce it. Allah, 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 Allah. You left. <laughs> oh, maybe he got kicked out or. Oh, like, here he got he's coming back. Okay. Yay. 
I'm yes, I got rooms. back and told him for about that. Yes. How do you know him? Like, uh, uh, like uh, I'm just sc- scrolling down my Facebook page, and like uh, I just saw a uh, Rehan Alawala, like uh, his page, and like uh, I just uh, uh, get in that page and uh, saw that uh, there was a really interesting posting going on about the business, about all the things. So that's why I also like that page and. After that, I just came in. Have you been in the network for a long time, or are you new to it? Well, as I told you, like I have been working in this field, like on the online business, like for three years. Based oh. on the teachings of Rehan. And um, no, like uh, it's uh, just a first experience, like. Uh, With you guys, and I just came in and uh, uh, going alive. Okay. Yes. And uh, may may I ask uh, may I ask Mara, what what are you doing? Like uh, there is a lots of like uh, crushing sounding coming on. Sorry, I was going. I, I was changing rooms because I was sitting on my bed, but my like butt was going numb. So, because I was like sitting on my leg weird, so I came out to the living room, and I have like a teenager that like left a humongous mess, and so there's plates that I had to move so I could put my computer down. Okay, okay. you're allowed. <laughs> it was kind of impromptu. I, I I was actually up all night working, so I was supposed to be sleeping, and then I I saw Carla was on, so I wanted to say hi. She's like, "No, come on!" So I was like, "Okay." Yeah, I needed you. you. <laughs> I needed you today. <laughs> well, you need to sleep. Yes, a little. I will. My picture well, is. I can uh, sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kamar. Yes, I'm saying that uh, my picture is coming a little dark, like uh, due to because uh, there is a night going on in. Uh, Pakistan and uh, it is going on. I can tell you the it is nine twenty nine p.m. I was just going to ask. We have very we have less viewers than we normally have, and I thought it was because of the time. Yes, and I think in America, I think it's going on Easter Standard Time, ten eleven twelve twenty nine. Oh. Where I am, it is twelve twenty nine. Yeah, at twelve twenty nine. Yes, sir. and eleven twenty nine for me. Yes, yes, because uh, like Wisconsin and is going on like uh, in a different time. And it's nine thirty your time. Yes, nine thirty is my time. I Which is really kind of cool. It makes us an international call. Would anyone like to hear a song? And tell me what song you want to hear. The one person who says it the fastest, I will put it on. Well, yes, uh, I can tell you. Like, uh, I can tell you my favorite song in the like English. Like, it's a uh, Alan Walker, Alone. And Alone. Alan Wa- yes, what and uh, Alan Walker. The only song that I know that's Alone is by Lisa Loeb. Yes, and uh, it uh, uh, like uh, he also has a uh, like uh, one more song with the name of Faded. Like I like that boss so- songs, and uh, uh, one more song with uh, Justin Bieber, like uh, Let Me Love You. Should I go for the Justin Bieber? Yes, you can. Alexa, play Justin Bieber. Let me love you. No. Okay. I know. Stop, Alexa. Stop. Oh. Like uh, I just uh, want to ask a question to both of you. Like, uh, can you please uh, like tell me like. Uh, Uh, how's the accent? Is mine like uh, pitching up? Like how's the accent? Your accent is wonderful. You yes, really uh, have. You have a yes? Pakistani accent, but it's really good. Like your your accent's better than my husband's. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah like uh, I can I can ask like uh, your husband uh, where he is from. Lahore. Lahore. Well, uh, you are Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Well, well, mashallah. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> assalamu alaikum. <laughs> I should have said that. Tell me what it means. Assalamu alaikum means peace be upon you. And then yes. he, he responds by saying, Wa alaikum as salam. Okay. Peace be upon you too, that means. You need to teach me how to say that. <laughs> and that okay. could take a good hour in itself, but. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you say it? Yes. Uh, um, I can type it to you, and um, it's like assalam. Assalam. So, like, can you say salam? Assalam. Salam. Salam. You know, like you say shalom. shalom. Yeah. You say shalom, right? Okay, so this is salam. Salam. Yeah, kind of like salami, but salam. Salami without the me. Hi, salam. <laughs> You're cutting out on me. So, assalam. Assalam. Alakum. Assalam alakum. Assalam alakum. I know. Assalam alaikum. alaikum. Yeah, good, good. Mashallah, you did good. Assalam alaikum. Assalam alaikum. Assalam alaikum. Assalam alaikum. I'm learning. Someone, Mara, Mara, can I ask one question to you? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, like uh, uh, like uh, you are looking like a uh, uh, citizen in America. So how you got uh, uh, like uh, in Pakistan and uh, you got a husband as well from Pakistan? He lived here. How that? Uh, well, he yeah, was living uh, he's here. From, uh, he's like, from uh, Lahore, he's but from he was Pakistan? living. Yeah, he's from Pakistan. Um, okay. He came over here um, in like 2008. And okay. I met him at his work. Okay. And um, then like about three months later, we got married. Well, we had Nikah. Okay. And then like a month and a half after that, we had our, like our wedding. And okay. so I've been married to him for four years. Okay, mashallah for so, that. And uh, like, uh, you got uh, all the things to learn out about the about the Islam. Yeah, well, I wasn't a, a Muslim before I met him, but I didn't know anything yeah. about Islam. I didn't even know, I didn't know that Muslims and Islam were part of the same thing. I thought there were two separate religions. I thought there was the religion well, of Muslim. And there's the religion of Islam. <laughs> the thing is that like uh, Muslim is uh, like. Uh, uh you can say that uh, uh, who accept islams they call muslims mm -hmm. yes well, i uh, know now i know what it means now but when i before i knew him i had no idea yes. okay was... not a problem day by day by day you will learn more and uh, you will be a pure muslim inshallah one time you will be get a pure muslim well always make dua for me in my iman okay well yes Inshallah. Well, I really appreciate it and nice to meet you. And nice to meet you. Kaula, yeah. Don't and leave yet. Okay, not a problem. I'm not leaving. <laughs> okay, hold on because, oh, I have to bring your, someone is asking to come in and what I thought I'd do, hold on for one moment. Can you tell me who's asking to come in before I do anything? 
Newman. Newman Ashraf. How do you Newman feel? Ashraf. Newman. N O M A N. N O M A N. Yeah. Ashraf. A S H. A S H. Okay, I found. Um, hold on. No, man, I'm sending you the link. And if you get in, I'll ask, um, what to my call? I can leave. No, no, no. You got to stay. I need you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're doing a great job. But I don't even, we'll see if it gets the link. And then we well, well, without you, uh, this show will be bore out. What are you saying? Well, I'm saying that without Mara, the show will be bored. Oh. <laughs> don't I make... I agree. Aren't you so sweet. It's that her is. show. Maybe I should go and leave Mara here. No, 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 no. No, without <laughs> you, the show will not work. Like, Even there is an importance of both of you. Like, there is a importance... Like, uh, uh, if you will not, uh, like, uh, you will leave, so sh show will not work. And Mara will leave, so show will be bored out. Okay. So, we don't have that many viewers today. Usually we have more, but I'm curious why. <laughs> today is going on 20 views. What are you saying? Is Say it again. I'm saying that uh, the show views is going on 20. Like uh, today is uh, like uh, there is a screen showing 17 to 20. Yeah, that's With really that more. We usually have about 100 or more. Well, uh, well, I think uh, I think everyone is asleep, sleeping because uh, uh, today is Sunday. So every, everyone is sleeping and just resting out. It's actually had 3,000 views. This show? It shows 3,343 views. But, but, the live view, but the live views is going on 18 to 20. Okay. Yeah. But that's fine. I mean, people are... You're talking about this show? We've had that many people in and out? Yes. Well, that's what it says, yeah. Yeah, wow. it, like it is showing 3,000, so it means they viewed and go out. No, man, are you coming? He has to probably download the app. It takes a little bit of time. Okay. Um, Amir, to be honest, I'm going to respond to your comment. Right now, but I want people to see it. You are doing a great job, not only teaching English, it's laughter therapy. Okay, I haven't announced this yet, but we are going to have a show on laughter in a few hours, which anyone can join. And it will be on Rayhan's um page you just need to look for it i'm not sure exactly when we're doing it because we've gone over on this show and i need to eat breakfast i haven't eaten yet so if you're interested just put a one in the chat and we will come back we will be here i will know to come <laughs> Actually, we're really off. It's after. It's going on one o'clock now, Mara. I know. Well, it's only twelve, and I wasn't going to meet with you until an hour from then. <laughs> well, wait. We'll talk when we get when we're off camera. So don't leave. But we're going to change the time. Oh, okay. So, Amir, this person, 
So, Amir, are you happy to hear that we're going to be doing some laughter, th- really doing some laughter meditation? <laughs> I just, you you want to laugh? Yes, I can, but uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Do you know that when you smile, you are getting, you rid yourself of all stress and tension? Yes, yes. Uh, that's why I think like uh, you are laughing. It's important <laughs> to laugh and smile every day. But not every time, I think. Not, what do you mean? I'm saying that not uh, like uh, we cannot laugh uh, every time. Uh, like it depends on the time to time like uh, what the situation is going on so uh, you need to work with that however even though the work situation may be happening and i'll talk about it more later if you're smiling and laughing you're going to get more out of the of your work and you're going to be more productive yes uh, you are saying right so it's important for you to smile and laugh. I didn't know. No, so no man said he doesn't have that yet. I think that you can laugh all the time and any time. The more you laugh at yourself, you know, the better you end up feeling. You know, if you can... Um, just enjoy life and, and make the most of it and have fun with it, you're all set. Absolutely. Yes. Perfect. Mohammed, we're about we're waiting for one person to come in and then we are when that person comes in, that will be the last guest for tonight. And uh, Mara, where is your husband? <clears throat> well, actually, um, my husband's divorcing me, <laughs> uh, and he's back in law right now. <laughs> what? My husband um, just filed for divorce, and he's back in Lahore right now. Like, uh, why is that? Like, uh, why is going on? Um, he um, just decided that he didn't want to be married to me. <laughs> Okay, perfect. I think like uh, he married with you like uh, for the citizenship in U.S. I think. Um, I don't it, speculate. <laughs> for one well, moment, uh, can I interrupt? Not, like, uh, whatever like he's doing, uh, that is not a good deal. Um, can well, I interrupt uh, for a moment? Well, yes, yes. 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 Um, people are asking for the link, and as I said, we are we send it out one at a time. And I'm just the last person who asked for it will be the last person on the show tonight. But we will have another show tomorrow, same time, same channel, same what is it? Same time, same channel, same place. Okay, perfect. Right. I hope <laughs> need to get some clarity with Rayhan on that, but I'm pretty sure it's happening. <laughs> you can laugh too. <laughs> Everyone can laugh. And then we'll be doing the laughter show la- later today. <laughs> Someone is saying, you know, we'll go into this more on the laughter show. Saying, I want to laugh all the time, but believe me, it's not easy to laugh in front of my boss. Very true. It probably is very difficult. So you know what I suggest you do? Instead of laughing in front of your boss, you smile. 
And the more yeah. you smile around your boss, the less angry he can be because he can't be angry with someone who's smiling. He can't be negative with a smiling person. And uh, you will get to, uh, you will be promoted as soon as possible. Ah, very true. I didn't think of that one. Very true. You can really gain by sm by laughing or smiling more often. Okay, Amjad, Amjad says discussion is going good, but personal. Life is personal. What's wrong with that? What do you think about that comment, Mara? Um, I think that like there is a cultural difference um, between Pakistan and America, where Americans are a little bit more forthright with their personal business. Um, and so when I was asked about my husband, um, I said the truth. Um, whereas Go on. Mara, go out and come back in. You're, you just froze. She'll be back in a moment. Yes. And uh, Carla, have you taken the lunch? Uh, have you taken the breakfast or not? No. But we told well, someone we told someone I, that he can come in, so I don't want to just leave. Because I think uh, you should take first. Oh, I'm going to have to. Believe me. Yes. Okay, Mara, finish your statement. Well, welcome. Welcome back, Mara. Can you hear me? Okay. Mara, can you hear me? Okay. So come back. Yeah. I, someone was explaining to me that smiling at Pac, in Pakistan, well, I'll let Mara address this. Let's see. Can you hear me now, Mara? Mara, Mara, It's Dara. really weird right now. Like, I have, like, perfect signal, but it's, like, acting weird. I know. You were talking about the personal versus impersonal. Can you hear me? I can, you're cutting in and out, but like right now I have like a perfect signal. Like I have full bars. So I don't know what's going on. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, we can. Okay. <clears throat> so what I was saying is I think that there is a cultural difference between, between um, Pakistan American and, and Pakistani culture. So like in Pakistan, they're much more likely to keep anything elsewhere in America. We're a little bit more open. Um, divorce. Yes. It's still considered taboo, but um I don't want to lie about it either. So that's why I went ahead and said that I am getting divorced. Um, uh, but I'm a strong person and I'll survive. So, um, but I just think that that's why there's like, they might question, you know, this is too personal. We shouldn't be discussing it, but you know, American culture kind of allows for us to have that little bit of freedom to be open about things like that. Well, uh, don't worry about that. I can be your friend. What? I Go on. I'm saying, Dad, don't worry about the divorcing. I can be your friend. 
Aw, thank you. Very sweet. So we made a friendship here today. How cool. Okay, guys. Um, Tama, you brought up a very important point. I really do need to go eat. I haven't eaten yet. So, um, this is Carla of the Giggle Fest University. Come back later. I will be doing a laughing show. And Mara and Kamar, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I uh, hope uh, we will soon meet you again. Come. Inshallah. Um, Inshallah. 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 That is God willing. <laughs> I am here every day. I agreed to do it. So why I don't uh, know all the time, but I agreed. <laughs> So I'm going to end the broadcast now. And Mara, stay around. Bye-bye. Kama, you can stay for a moment too if you want. But Mara, don't go anywhere yet. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.